welcome to the Fairy Speak. I'm John O'Toole. I hope you're enjoying my show. This is a great series in which I get to do fairy readings for you. You wonder, well, how can that be? I'm not in the room with you. Other times when I've seen tarot card readings, they're in the same room. Well, I'm setting an intent of putting my reading ahead in the future for the people that are actually watching the program. It's an interesting idea. It either works or it doesn't work. Either way, you get to see me looking like a fool on national TV. <laughs> national TV. Well, I thought I only had an audience of three. Now you're telling me I have them in front of millions. Well, it could be. You never know. So, those of you who have watched in the past, you recognize Harry. Harry is a gnome with big hairy feet. He often rides on my car with his feet dangling over the windshield or the back window. Keeps it, chipping it up, rarely ever rides inside the car. Right now, he's outside playing in the yard. But sometimes, if you can see things, or sense things, you'll see the, him with me at the big Y. So I'm using these cards. This is a topsy-turvy card. And, I don't know if you, if you saw it, and I'm probably going to enlarge it this way, this way, this way, this way, and this way. So, Brian Fraud's Fairy Oracle Cards. I started, I think what I started with. Huh. The name is dropped. I started with another set of cards that a friend had recommended. But I, I ended up going to these cards because these cards are more about fairies. Now the cards are really just an instrument. They don't have magical powers. They don't tell you to hurt people or anything like that. They don't speak to you exactly. They're more of uh, a, a tool for inspiration. I could just sit here and pick a topic and just talk to you guys. But what fun would that be? And in any way, this actually gives you a chance to participate. Because you guys are going to help me pick cards. I sent the attention into the future of the people watching this program. No matter how many times you watch the program, that you're going to participate in the reading. Sometimes you might get something different out of it every time you watch it. Sometimes you might even just fall asleep. <laughs> that could be a win. Then you only have to listen to me talk for a shorter period of time. I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my hand across the cards, and you out there, you, the one I'm pointing to, you see, I'm not pointing over there, and I'm not pointing over there. I'm pointing to you. <laughs> and they're going to tell me when to stop. And I'm going to pick your card for you. Shall we begin? Are you ready? Do you have your question? No, you don't have a question? You gotta have a question. How can you pick cards if you don't have a question? Now we're not asking for a winning, a winning number. Not that kind of a question. 
We're just looking for a question about life. Your life, someone else's life. Life magazine. <laughs> So, I'm going to run my hands across the cards, and you're going to tell me when to stop, and we'll pick out, we're going to do five cards again. The last show we did five cards. I think five cards works better than six. Oh, I already feel the spot right here. We're going to go around the mulberry bush. Just to feel the energy. Very distinctive energy. Often when I record two shows, the second show is a whole bunch different than the first one. The first one's kind of like breaking the ice and getting the energy going. Priming the pump. And then the second show is a lot more festive. Let's not hope it's not too festive. <laughs> it's five cards. There we go, right there. The rare, wild energy, pure potential. But this one was in reverse. And it looks like something with long ears, like a rabbit. Losing or lost control. Misunderstandings. Escalate, ground, meditate, back off, and look at things coolly. Losing or lost control. Misunderstandings. Escalate. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Now, this is the guardian at the gate. You've been watching my show. You've heard these before. The guardian at the gate. Passages to new life. Openings. Gatekeeping. But this one was in reverse. And that is the gate is closed at this time. Now this reading could be connected to the previous reading. But why would it not be? And we talked a lot about love given and received freely. Love and energy and activities given and received to others. Whether it's your your spouse or your significant other or your your brother or your sister your mother your father you know your friend your neighbor your co-worker <laughs> about having an equal amount of energy given and received you're doing a task you know you both chip in to get the task done you're doing the dishes someone helps you do the dishes not the other one sits down and watches TV and you do the dishes all by yourself. <laughs> I used to have a rule, if I cook, you do the dishes. That didn't last very long. I just do the dishes as I'm cooking and I have less dishes in the end. But I still ended up doing the dishes. Everyone gets up at the table and they disappear and you're stuck cleaning up the kitchen. How is that fair? Nelly? The Alchemist. There we go. Pretty card. I don't actually think I've pulled this card in my whole, on the whole series. Somebody can check me on that. But I don't think so. Nell's the Alchemist. Inner transformations. Irrevocable change. How was that? Was that like this? Yeah, it was. Yep, so that was a vertical card, which means it's like this. So if it's the reverse, it's upside down. Inner transformation, irrevocable change. 
Well, I tell you, if you took the brakes on in your life and you ask people to chip in 50%, so you could chip in 50%, that's got to make some big changes in your life, I'm to tell you. And it's got to happen fast. And you're either, they're either going to be receptive to it, they're going to say, you know, I'm tired of you doing all the work and I'm more than happy to pitch in and we'll get the job done and we'll do it together and it'll, it'll all happen. Just like a relationship. When a relationship go bad, it's usually because one's pulling away from the other. Working together, both tripping 50% into the relationship, you've got a 100% good relationship going on. You ask people that have been married for 35, 40 years, and you go, I can't believe it. I mean, marriage only lasted five. Well, maybe a little longer. And they'll say, well, they worked things out. They got together. They worked things out. They didn't stew about it. They didn't give in. They met halfway. That's what we do. We meet halfway. Lassie, the moon's daughter. Light cast in shadows, spiritual guidance, illumination, and riddles. Oh, we didn't pull this one. There was another one. In. I don't know. Did we? I don't remember. I don't really remember. Number 38. Light cast in shadows. Spiritual guidance, illumination, and riddles. Well, that's interesting. And I guess it was vertical. The gates closed for us. Inner transformation, irrevocable change. Undressing the salad. Number 31. So this is an interesting card. There's a bunch of fairies in there. Let's see why I spent about undressing the salad. Balance. Avoiding extremes, achieving the impossible, and being the impossible. But this one was in reverse. Imbalance occurs, confusion happens, and out of chaos can be miracles. We're st uh, still talking about this unconditional love given and received. We're still working on that. Most people have trouble with that. Believe it or not, a lot of people have trouble with love given and received. They don't understand what that means. They either want to be loved constantly and they don't think about giving back. Or they constantly give love. The person that constantly wants love and doesn't give anything back are considered needy. Well, maybe that's a spiritual term. And then the other person who constantly gives, gives, gives and doesn't get anything back is a caretaker. Another spiritual term. And every, not necessarily everybody is one or the other. Then there are those people that can give and receive equally. Now, when I was younger and started on this bizarre journey 30 or so years ago, I was a caretaker. I constantly gave. That's why I'd work 80 hours for a job. Constantly giving to my work, constantly giving to my family. Leaving very little for myself. Not getting much back in my relationship. And the more you give, the more they take. You try to cut back on giving and the other party gets a little bothered by that. What do you mean? Yesterday you gave, you gave, you gave, you gave. Why can't today you give, 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 give? So it's a tough thing to move past. 
Sometimes in order to do it, you have to do something drastic. Change, change your relationship, change your job, change, well you can't change your children, but you could take a break from your children. Circumstances could change so that you're not constantly, you know, there. Sometimes you can't take a break from your children, but you could cut back on taking care of your children and just assign them stuff to do, and they could start standing up for themselves. You might have to use a bait and switch to do it, but eventually they'll come around. I know mine have. I'm very proud of my daughters and where they've come in the last 10 or 15 years. So. It is possible. So let's choose four more cards. Is that what I said? Five and four? Do five more cards and see how it turns out. Part of my challenges in doing these shows is trying to keep my time down to my 28 minutes. And I'll end up with a show that's 40. <laughs> and then as I have to get creative to get the time to help because for some reason I really like to talk <laughs> which if you knew me 30 years ago you would know that I would never want to talk I would never stand up in a room and talk about anything whether it was personal or business I was seriously introverted are you waiting are you waiting for me to pick the cards <laughs> oh yeah, here. Yeah, well, I can feel the energy over here. My other hand is picking up the energy. See my hand. <laughs> so here's something new we're gonna do, and I heard it. I heard it somewhere. It was either one of you or it was my fairy friends said to start the cards from this side. So, it's kind of like we started from there, I went across, and then we're going to go this way. So, this card here, number 15, adventure, independence, polishing of skills, traveling. And it was, in, it was a vertical card. Adventure, independence, polishing of skills, and traveling. Now, just because you're independent doesn't mean you can't be in a relationship. It doesn't mean you can't work with a bunch of other people at work. It doesn't mean you can't go to church and participate in the activities. It doesn't mean any of those things. It means that you're independent. You're not dependent on someone else to provide for you everything. At some point, we can all do things for ourselves that can help in the greater thing. Oh, here's something weird. You want to know what's weird? It's something weird, and I've never done it before, and what am I going to do about it? The weird thing is, is over here on the cards, I just noticed that there are two cards under each other. How weird is that? We've got two cards. Well, I guess we better pick up speed here so we can get the show through our 28 minutes. That's kind of weird. Well, I think it's weird. I, I'm sorry you don't think it's weird. You know, just like this, you know, where I got an exchange going on back and forth between you and me. Of course, you know, there's thousands of you and there's one of me. But I couldn't be doing this if I was doing it all by myself. It would be boring. I honestly don't do readings just for myself. I, I recommend it. But my personal relationship to the fairies is a little bit more 
magical or spiritual that I don't really need the cards for that. Not that I'm too good for the cards, but it's kind of hard to explain. Just like when you pray, you know, to your higher self, the higher power. So, the next card is in reverse, number two. Ecstasy. Ecstasy. <laughs> Ecstasy. E K S T A S I S. Ecstasy, joy, rapture, and motivation. But this was in reverse. Sorrowful and grieving. Well, that's kind of weird. But I tell you, if you start breaking away from somebody that expects you to give, 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 yeah, there's going to be some sorrowful and grieving. Epona's wild god daughter. Inner shadows, nightmare, depression, and madness and growth. Inner shadows, nightmare, depression, madness, and growth. So that's rather interesting. You know, often people that are caretakers, they, they suffer from... They suffer from depression because they don't get that love coming back to them. They constantly give, 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 give. I mean, any person may not have any idea that the person that's giving them all the attention is actually depressed and don't have that inner glow. Feeling empty because every time you give, 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 you don't get anything back to, to refill that, uh, that vessel of love. Now, of course, we know that that vessel is constantly being filled, no matter what, but we are human, and we expect human interaction. You know, saying that a boy or a nice job to somebody at work is not a bad thing. Even to your kids, to tell them it's a nice job they did. Even when the job isn't really that good, but they, they tried. Would you could see someone try to do something right? You know, saying thank you and saying nice job is worthwhile. It's very worthwhile. And it's very rewarding to that other person. He of the fiery sword. The active principle, the spiritual. The active principle. Spiritual will, justice, and protection. Indecision, wishy-washy, commitment, decision making, decision making, indie, indecision, wishy-washy, commitment, and decision making. Well, you know what? It's interesting. It all goes around this love given and received. When you're the one that feels necessary to be in control. When you're the one that you feel is necessary to be in control. Often you're not sure if you're making the right decisions. You're trying to make the best decision, but you don't know if it's the right decision. And it may not be the right decision. Now, if you're working as a partnership with with whoever you are with, whether it's a family member or a spouse or significant other or somebody you're working with at work or or someone at the playground, you guys can make the decision together. Discuss the pros and cons. Come up with the best response. Easy peasy. Lefty Lucy. The Soul Shrinker. 
cruelty, malice, gossip, curses, destruction, and blessings. The Sage. Interesting looking card. Kind of reminds of the Green Man. Wisdom, hidden knowledge, retreat, old age, and patience. Wisdom, hidden knowledge, retreat, old age, and patience. But this card was in reverse. Remember, this was the card that was under another card. Artificial or inappropriate boundaries are set between different aspects of life. Inappropriate boundaries. Again, we're talking about unconditional love given and received. And not setting appropriate boundaries. One person does 150%, the other person does 10%. Well, now we got 160% production. But you got one person that's burnt out. And the other person that isn't, but wants more. So this has been a very interesting read. We've been talking about unconditional love given and received. Very interesting indeed. Don't you can't wait to see what the next episode's about? Well, you're going to have to wait another month when I record the next two shows. But it's been very cool reading. I hope you're having fun. I know I'm having fun. Very interesting indeed. Well, until next time, the fairy speaks for you.